day two has begun at roughly 7.30 in the morning and we are heading to the second location of our trip currently in Barcelona but in roughly four hours we will be in Andorra we are at the sun station the train station but there's also a bus station over here and we're going to embark the bus hopefully we'll be able to find it Welcome to Andorra, my 33rd country I would say. This is how it looks like, this is the bus station. We've just gotten out of the bus over there. Also temperature wise it's very nice because it's not as cold as I was thinking it would be. By the way the bus ride took like three hours more or less. It's a cool thing, like you can just put your phone here and then it just checks your selfie, right? Also a map apparently, like where you can find more of these selfie spots. A cool thing I noticed over here in Andorra is like you also have got the stoplights and like the traffic lights for pedestrians on the ground as well. Like look at this, it's like red and now it just turns green and everybody can cross. I guess like people who are on their mobile phones have to know when it turns green so they can cross. If only that was covered in snow, that would have been amazing. And it's like 5 degrees Celsius, which is colder than in Barcelona, but still not as cold as the weather forecast predicted. This is how the license plates look like in Andorra. I've probably never seen an Andorran license plate in my life before. That thing over there, I thought it was like a church or something, but it's actually a very big spa. We wanted to go inside, but it's like 50 euros for like one day, so it's probably too much. So far I have to say, like the town or like the city is very nice. However, there's not like so much to do because, well, it's not that big. I mean, you can go to the spa, you can go skiing, but apart from these two things, I doubt that it's going to be like full of activities, I'd say. It's like 3 p.m. right now, so time of the check-in. We can finally check in at the accommodation. All right, we are at the accommodation. This is how it looks like, basically one room. I know it could be like, again, 25 or 30 euros per night for one person. I'll put a link to the description. But at first, I mean, uh, the entrance looked very luxurious and I thought that we missed, you know, our hotel. Like, this is not the hotel we booked. So let's rest and then let's head back to the town and, you know, see something more. We spent around two hours at the accommodation and when we went outside, this is how it looks like. I don't know if it's visible on the camera, but like it's snowing. You probably remember how sunny it was. And right now it's like this. I guess the weather changes quite fast over here. We're now going to see Andorra from a viewpoint, which is like above the town. So the route looks like this. My shoes are again not very, you know, suitable for this kind of terrain. Snowing is a bit more intensive. There are multiple miradores. Over here, this one's three minutes, we're going to this one. There's also one that's like one hour away. We're not going there. I'm not really sure that this is the Mirador, but yeah, okay, it's over there. Let's go there. So we are here. It actually was not three minutes, it was like 30 seconds. This is how it looks like when the weather is clear. And this is how it looks like right now. And look at those mountains. I mean, I, I wish we were here when the weather was, you know, clear and sunny. But still, I mean, this is 
an okay view I guess and I suppose over there that's the city center and you know this is just I mean we've got accommodation somewhere over there there's also this stand as we saw in the city center right, like right over there so you can just put your mobile phone over here and take a you know photo of yourself if you don't trust anybody or if you just have nobody to go with and yeah anyways so let's go down and let's enjoy Andorra for a couple more hours so back the same way by the way we went through here it was just like I guess a random way but it's actually marked so it's fine do you remember how we were here literally a couple hours ago when we arrived here it was very sunny right now the weather has changed however I'm very happy that we already saw you know the nice weather and we also see this kind of weather so we have like a double experience There's also this sign, like letters of like Andorra, but I found out that it's like impossible to take a picture of it. That it resembles the name Andorra because like the letters are covering each other. It's like sometimes like you know the R is covering the another R, so it's never going to probably work out. I mean, feel free to come here and try it for yourself, and then maybe let me know whether you have found a good angle how to you know make a picture of it. You can actually see like the river is much wilder, I would say because of all the snow that has fallen over those mountains and now it's like melting so as long as it doesn't flood the entire city it's fine right and by the way this is how our hotel looks like from the outside it looked a bit more luxurious to me than just 30 euros per night for one person so that's why <laughs> 